here's the back of the St. Paul St. Louis Church. And here, running along these buildings, is the largest, longest remaining portion of the wall. Philippe Auguste once that surrounding Paris. Most of it was taken down and used to build other buildings. But you find pieces of it all over Paris. This is called the Village St. Paul. A little quiet oasis. I just left some noisy boys out there. Now has a lot of um, antique shops. A lot of them are closing, being replaced by other types of shops. Like this lady who sells hats. Some restaurants, other cafes. Used to bring antique hunters here. Oh. There's not that many antique shops left. Here is one though. There's an antique shop. I used to be good, able to go all the way through out there, but uh, it got blocked by a restaurant. So we'll go out here on Rue St. Paul. St. Paul, and there is a store called Thanksgiving. Uh, they have a restaurant, Louisiana Cuisine, and you can buy American food there. So if you come out at the end of the St. Paul village, village St. Paul, come into this little alley. There once was a fountain there. Sometimes there's flowers. And here is a little memorial garden um, to remember a man who was arrested here and deported to Auschwitz along with his 21-year-old son and his twin sons who were 14. And the man who lives in this house, this is where they lived. All the family got out except the man and his three sons. He takes care of it. And they've had to wall it in and lock it because people, uh, even in this day and age, either deface it or try to hide it. Those little ventilated things below the windows were where uh, they kept things before refrigeration like milk and eggs. Things they just wanted to keep fresh. We had one in our apartment but we uh, closed it off because it let dust in. And, uh, Heat <laughs> in the summer. Let me turn in to the pass passage, St. Paul. Um, it's 
the back way into the St. Paul St. Louis Church. Except for the tourists wandering through. It looks like a nice uh, alley to live off of. Passage. I can smell someone's uh, dinner. It smells fabulous. <laughs> Something with onions, maybe some beef. This church is in much better repair than the one we saw before. We've got a little Pieta back there. St. Louis was uh, King Louis the Ninth, and he was the first, and as far as I know, only king to become a saint. If you look up here, It's a sun symbol, which is a symbol of King Louis the Ninth. This is new, this wooden floor, uh, which I don't think goes with the church. But they didn't ask me. <laughs> Most churches, well, I, must, I should say all churches, were closed during the Revolution. They either became temples of reason or storage. And here's some writing that I've from that time. Republic of Francais qui a moi. And I'm not sure what that means, but it's interesting to me that they saved it. These fonts uh, used to keep holy water in to brush yourself when you come in. They're actually a gift from uh, Victor Hugo, who lived nearby. He gave a gift of him when his daughter got married here at the church. 